that Eric Armstead and Javon Hardgrave have been ruled out for this game. So that is going to be like a difference in that middle. Um, Kinlaw will be um, substituting in there starting. Now, he did really good last game. But do you think that that will – maybe not against this Arizona team because I'm not super afraid of them, but do you think that long-term, like, that they'll be back for the Ravens game or will that be a huge um, miss with both of those? Because both of those players are crazy impact impactful for this defense. No, I mean, I think they're definitely like losses. It's a pretty clear distinction when you talk about two of your top defensive players. I think Javon Hargrave has been underrated. I mean, Eric Armstead has been underrated his whole career, but Javon like Hargrave's had a pretty solid like – yeah. I think mm -hmm. both of them have complemented each other pretty darn well overall. And so to lose not just one but both of them, I think that that's, uh, you know, that's going to be a pretty, pretty big thing for the 49ers. And it now places the onus on – Guys like Javon Kinlaw, I'm expecting Kevin Givens to probably earn the start at defensive tackle. But it's a lot of younger players, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not like they haven't seen playing time, but you're going to have a rotation with those guys, which kind of puts more of an onus on the outside guys because the outside guys likely get doubled more often now, you know, when you're going up against that type of matchup. And so I think that, you know, it, it definitely – your your defense gets – you know, it's we uh, sorry, it's diminished a little bit now, but I think a challenge that the 49 probably will still look to, to you know, look to try and accomplish. And also, more importantly, I think when you talk about the defensive line in a game like this, I think the number one thing they're going to look at isn't going to get sacks. Maybe, I mean, it's going to get pressure, but yeah, not necessarily sacks. Contain Tyler Murray, exactly. Completely agree. And a big way that they're also going to do that is if the coverage is working well. And right now, Traverse Ward is still questionable. I wonder if I, I don't want to look over the Cardinals, but I would kind of maybe even suggest letting him rest because those groin injuries can be, you know, depending on how, how bad you tweak them, they can be like three weeks, but they're also soft tissue injuries. So I feel like even if you feel a lot of better, just like a little nick can kind of re aggravate it. And I do, may, maybe it's like fan bias in me. I do think that the 49ers are going to beat the Cardinals and, and cover that 12 point spread pretty easily. Um, and and Ambry Thomas and Lenore did a really good job. I know Isaiah Oliver has really struggled in the past, but last game they didn't do terrible without uh, Traverse Ward in there. So I, I would potentially consider sitting him, even if he feels like he could push it and go. It seems like, Last week, they kind of like anyone who could go would go. And and I wonder if this week they're kind of trying to save up. And Because in my opinion, the most important thing is having these guys healthy for the playoffs. Do you think that sitting a guy like Charveris Ward would be uh, unreasonable or something that you shouldn't do against the Cardinals? And then also, just to get the rest of the injury updates, Eric, Aaron Banks and Dre Greenlaw were back out at practice on Friday. So it looks like they're... Good to go. Yeah. Um, uh, when you talk about most important games, the 49ers, it's very clear what the most important game on the schedule is for the 49ers. It's week 16 against Baltimore. I ultimately think that's the game that not only decides really who the Super Bowl favorite is, but it also decides who gets the one seed in the NFC. Philly, I think, is going to win out. They have a fairly easy schedule. Seattle is their really their main challenge because I believe they face Arizona um, as well uh, down the stretch. So you talk about this week. They face Seattle, I believe, on Monday Night Football. Uh, this is on the road too, but I expect Seattle to lose that one. And then Philly's got matchups with the Giants twice and Arizona once. I think they win out, it's which means like – Spin it I mean, out now. Yeah, is. but uh, I, I think that this is the perfect way for them to get back on track. Maybe. That means they'll end the season, in my opinion, 14-3. and three. 49ers already have three losses. You lose one more. If Philly wins out, they get the one seed. You don't, because I also expect Dallas to lose one game. They've got three really tough matchups. They've got Buffalo. They've got the Chargers, and they've got, I believe, uh, well, the Chargers aren't really that tough anymore, but they got Buffalo and Detroit. Yeah. 
<laughs> probably expect them to lose one more of those. So I think week 16 is very important. And you don't want to overlook the Arizona Cardinals, but I think you do want to also prioritize the rest of your players to get them ready for the playoffs. More importantly, also for week 16. So I wouldn't be surprised if Traverius Ward potentially sits out. Do I expect that? No. I think Ward is going to play. If he gets injured in the game and they feel like they, 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 he deserves the rest after that, they can go for it. Because Ward suits up. He he suits up for nearly every yeah. game. He, he might get injured in the game. We've seen that on a couple of occasions, and that's why I, pre I preached cornerback depth in the beginning of the year. But he'll suit up. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ward plays at all. I think he – I expect him to.